Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching and welcome back. I get a lot of questions regarding concealed carry and a frequent one as of late happens to deal with appendix carry. You want to know what I think about it, so I'm going to tell you. For those of you that are new to the shooting sports and you're new to concealed carry and you're like, what's this guy talking about? Basically what appendix carry means is that you carry a firearm like this and you're essentially sticking it down the front of your pants in a holster or some other kind of rig, but the firearms going down the front of your pants. Now, this is almost what I would call the carry method of the month club because you see it on television shows, you see it on other channels, you see it on internet websites where these big time instructors with the big names are going, yeah, this is the way to carry. You know, this gives you instant access to your weapon at any point in time, yada, 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 bling, bling, bling. But, what I think about it? No way. I don't think that it's safe and I'll go on record as saying such. If I change my opinion, I'm man enough to tell you in the future if I do, but I don't think it's safe because what do we have below the belt line? We have body parts that are essential to basic functions, okay? Doesn't matter if you're a man, doesn't matter if you're a woman, you have body parts. And then you also have internal organs that could get hit. And then there are, there's one very important thing out there. It's called the femoral artery. If that femoral artery that runs down inside of your leg, inside of your thigh, gets hit by an accidental discharge, you're gonna die. You will bleed out so fast, you really won't know what's going on. Unless you're right next door to the best trauma care unit, you're a goner. And there have been incidents. You know, fire up your favorite search engine, look for firearm accidents that have happened with appendix carry and you'll find them. They do happen. And because of that, I don't think that it's safe. It is not a carry method that I would ever recommend. Because if you're doing a, a more standardized form of concealed carry, whether it be outside the waistband or inside the waistband, if you have an accidental discharge, what could happen? Well, you could graze your leg, you could shoot yourself in the leg, you could hit your foot, but are you actually going to hit something extremely vital like say the femoral artery? Chances are probably not. So. I much prefer the more standardized methods of carry than appendix carry. I know I'm going to take flack ab about this. I know that there are instructors out there that'll disagree, but that's fine. You folks, you asked me the question and there you have it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Keep those questions coming. I appreciate it. And everybody be safe out there. Have a good one. We'll see you later.